get to the minutes. Oh. <coughs> the minutes I are. Will, the... I will share my screen then. Awesome. For the minutes. Because my Firefox works. Yeah. No, and I, I just reinstall it and it seems to be up again. Okay. Cool. Why can't I type in this? All right. I don't know. Can anybody type in this document right now? That is our repo. <coughs> and. Oh, okay. Here we could. All right. There, now I can. Contributor translations. All right. Well, I wasn't going to be here, but now I'm here. So I can. Are the, are the minutes linked in the in our repo? Or where are the uh, They're not in the meeting notice either yet. OK, let me. There. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, we, we need to add a presence on the website as well. Yeah, there are. Right. I wanted to talk about that kind of stuff today. Just a little bit, just because, like, I needed. There were some updates to the README that needed to be done, and you know what I mean. There are just certain things that needed to be done. Apparently, external sharing is disabled for that document. Say what? It's. I'm getting an error that says external sharing is disabled for this document. I don't. All right, that's weird because other people are in it. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's my Firefox browser. <laughs> <laughs> I just simply decided to stop working for the first time literally ever. Um, just give me a second here. Uh, okay, so you want me to share that with it, like Vinod's in it? Huh. All right, I just sent it to your s ed goggins okay, an invite all right we have a crowd hi lucas i just put the minutes in the chat all right all right we're back yeah <laughs> we're you back everything you need yeah yep I'm getting there. All right. Um, all right. So I think a few things that that we need to think about. I know that we have some metrics models that we want to talk about. And I know Yahui had done a metrics model. And we can take a look at that in a pull request down here. And I had started one as a Google Doc for event badging. And we can take a look at that too. Um, but to Kevin's point as well, we need to kind of integrate uh, this with uh, like the participate page. Or how about just the web page? Kevin, do you have thoughts on like what we need immediately? Participate. Uh, just a second. Let me take a. I'm taking a peek at the participate page now. Okay. Uh, Okay, so we are in the we are in the calendar. Okay. Update the calendar invite. Nope. Well, I need to update the calendar invite with the link to the minutes. Okay. Uh, so on the participate page, there is a module about three quarters down the page that says web content. Mm -hmm. So that is the old web content meeting, which we have. Uh, oh, okay. For the for this foreseeable future, we are not going to be meeting uh, because there is not much interest. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, we, can... we migrated the website. We're done. Yeah. So uh, so that module, I think we turn we can turn that one into the uh, the metrics model meeting. Which, is that under uh, what's that under? The is website the repositories. It's in the website. Okay. okay. And then participate. Yep. And 
web content. That one, right? Yep. yep. So basically, we can just we can edit this one and change the uh, change the name. So can change the name to uh, maybe uh, metrics dash model so dot call dash call. Yeah. Can somebody do that while I kind of facilitate other things? That should be a pretty easy one. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Means, well, means so it's the, the, uh, uh, it means I can I can the task <laughs> is the I'm sorry, Kevin. Tell me what you need again. I was trying to uh, so my security. So the here. the web content call <clears throat> markdown file. Mm -hmm. Need to change the name to. Uh, metric model dash call got it or met metric dash model dash call okay uh, and then this is the markdown file that we can edit to uh add all of the information we need for the this particular meeting and i'm going to go ahead on the website right now and i'm going to change the pointer so that it is grabbing the new name that you're putting in all right all right i got it so can you update all this? I'm, I'm doing um, it. I'm, like I'm, all this, like, I'm two doing days, it. you know, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Okay, yep. right. Thank yep. you. Yep, yep. We'll do that right now. Thank you. Okay, so Sean. Uh, let's see. Uh, metric metrics metrics dash models metric metric as a metric model metric dash models dash call or metrics dash models dash call is metric plural or not there's metrics in the model and there then there's many models okay so, two s's sold <laughs> all right metrics models and then okay. uh, also update update time of the meeting got it to this all, time and can you do all that conversion to beijing time and all yep, that i will do that thank you mm -hmm. oh, for god's sake john thanks okay um, I'll do the calendar invite here. I'll just add a link to the minutes in the calendar invite. And then we also <coughs> need to update the readme. Um, so there's a pull request in here. It's not perfect. Wait, oh, sorry. So a note, uh, this work, uh, a repository name is not in sync. So working group metrics and models should be there. The name is metric models. So, so name should... metrics models? Yes. Uh, how do I change the name of a, do I go into settings? Change uh, the name of a repo? Yeah, right here. Yep. Right, done. Yeah. Um, and then, Kevin, could you take a look at? It's, sorry, I should have named these better. But the update readme right here, number four. I'm just trying to. This isn't a full change, but I'm just trying to like add a link to the meeting minutes. You can see I added the focus areas. I just picked Kevin, you, you, me, and Yahui. <laughs> as the contact people, but we need to add our GitHub. Uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, we should probably use the, uh, the chaos standard readme uh, uh, structure. I took this from common. Okay, then. Yeah, common then. As, a, as a standard readme. Okay, then we should be good. Could somebody double check me though, now that I said that? Because actually that's not entirely true. I just took this from what was in the current. There was a readme here that was not like filled out like this. See what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so the, the readme should go, should be uh, table of contents, introduction, goals, purpose, who should join this working group, 
participate, how to join us, contributing. Uh, this is metrics, the metrics, focus yeah. areas, release metrics, contributors. Yep, chairs. Uh, chairs. Uh, License, amazing chaos, project contributors. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. So Kevin, could you just take a look at what I did? It's not gonna solve the README, but there were a few things I wanted to do. I, I, I wanted to do this in kind of a series of sequences. Oh yeah, yeah, we would just build on build on top of it. So yeah, exactly. you, you want me to take a peek at it, merge it, and maybe make yes. some add some content? Yeah, I mean that'd be great. So okay. yeah, then will... you, you kind of get that done, get the gonna... up to date. I'm going to put that as a to do unless are you wanting me to do it right now or um you could um i mean if we could do it right now that'd be okay you could at least merge the pr okay all right um and then what i did too was I started, I just wanted to make sure that people were okay with this. So I had a, so what I'm doing is I've created, this is creating the new focus. Like, is this what we want to do? Oh, I should probably not name that metric, metric model. Um, but we just have, See what I'm saying? It would just be a pretty simple README here. It would just be a the name, the, and we have to specify the goal. We could just put this in as a placeholder, and I could then put out all of these README's in the respective folders that would just correspond to these. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So um, let me. Okay. Keep it the constant with the metrics. So users may, may be easier to revisit it, the whole structure. Yeah, so it would just be, let me change this really fast. Okay. Okay, so that should be updated now here. So could somebody take a look at that? And if if you're okay with that, then I'll just continue to. Oops, not that one. Uh, is it? So are we? I don't think we're we're not planning on using that uh, that goal question metric approach for these, right? So this is no, a little I don't bit think different. So, so it's the, a little bit different. So question might not be the uh, description might be a better yeah better title rather than question. Gotcha. So we'd have the, the name of the metric model, and then we could have a description of what it is. What happened? What did I do? I screwed something up. Oh, darn it. I screwed something up. Maybe your Firefox is acting up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's on the recording. I, I clicked. A, I did something wrong. Anyway, um, so you're saying, like, instead of for that table, that it would just be the metric model name, and then... So, okay, Matt screwed something up. The README update is not merged yet. No. Okay, so for the table. The, up, the, the create README <clears throat> is merged. The update README is not. Okay. Do you, want, do you want me to, I could modify it real quick. Oh, well that's. Or hold on, did I, did I merge the wrong one? I think so. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally merged the wrong one. I, I, yeah, I was thinking that might be what happened there. I thought the create README would be the first one that was done and the update was No, I was, and then I think I was trying to fix <laughs> the other merge. Okay, so I think- Here, let me, uh, let me, uh, I'll revert it. Okay, maybe it wasn't me. <laughs> it was both of us together as a team. It takes right, teamwork so the, to get it back. The table for the README would be the metric model name and then what did you say kevin like not questions description like description, description. Okay. okay okay i can do that 
and then just so I had only done one, but just so you know, I'll make a folder then, like I said, for each one of these particular focus areas. And then within there, that folder will capture all the metric metric models for each one of those focus areas. So like Yehoi, I think the one that you had done, I don't, obviously it's not placed in a folder, the pull request. I think you just placed it right. like in the main repo, but we can move it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Once I'll we, write it here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Once we get the folders created, we'll take care of that. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, is there anything else that people had with res just respect to structure? I just I needed we needed to take care of a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Um, Okay. Okay. Um, Kevin, do you think there's anything else we need to do structure wise? Not that I can think of, not, not at this point. I think once okay. uh, once we start working, some of the uh, some of the process will, will start to uh, emerge for okay. us. But you think that's a pretty good start? Just in terms of the web page, the calendar invite, and updating the readme's and the folder structures. Yeah. Okay. And I'll and I'll take a look at the uh, the readme and try to add some content to that. Okay. Great. Thank you. Um, and then I also um. Oh. Uh, new metrics. What am I doing here? So I'm in the metrics model under resources. So I'm in the metrics repository right now. So this is where we keep our templates. And we have a, I need to format this a little bit, but we have a metrics model template here. And based on looking at the upcoming metrics models, I'm going to suggest one, one or two changes to this, this template. All right. And so you can just wait with <laughs> wait with excitement while we do something before I tell you what those changes proposed changes would be. All right, so now we're finally into the metrics model part of this. I'm sorry, I'm kind of going quickly through the agenda because I might have to drop off <laughs> to, to do tire to do car tire things. There's a nail in a tire of a car. Um, Here, Liza. What's that? Dear Liza. Oh, hey. <laughs> I kind of follow that. It took yeah. me a little while. But, uh, um, obscure American cultural reference. That is a very obscure one. Like, even it took me a little while to, <laughs> to grab onto that one. Um, all right. So, Yehoi has a, um, a PR that he's put together, and it's for a metric model. Mm -hmm. Here. Uh, yeah, it's about uh, a part of the uh, development process uh, model, metrics model. But, uh, but you know, we have goal that uh, we should uh, avoid integrate everything into one model. So I I divide those development uh, oh, okay. model into several parts. So this is the first part about gotcha. issue handling, or we can call it requirement handling. Anyway. So would this... So this would instead of this, uh, yeah, part, yeah, yeah, should be if issue is one, we one. Yeah. Issue handling would be yeah. this, correct? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, this is just the first part about issue handling. There would be more, gotcha. uh, like a uh, pull request. Say I gotcha. Wow, that is an impressive number of metrics in a single model. Yeah, exactly. So that's that's why I don't want to integrate anything into the model. Well, yeah, if, if you did the whole development metric model, that list would be, <laughs> it'd be basically huge. Right, be huge. Humongous. Yeah. Yep, exactly. All right. It's cool. not a metrics model. That's chaos. <laughs> that's, yeah, it's, it's everything. <laughs> the development model is all metrics. <laughs> everything and nothing. Um, so, the, so, I mean, the beauty of these, I think. Maybe you can uh, yeah. go to the SVG file. We, we can take a look at the, the, the visualization. Uh, not this one. This uh, uh, no. I mean the, another file called uh, the. 
Yeah, there's, there's a file there's scroll down. You fix. You just, yeah, scroll yeah. down. Yeah, this one. Yeah, it's the MD file. Oh, no, no, no. The no? sort of one. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, the sort of one. Yeah. Uh, you can, oh, you can I, click, it? uh, I don't think it's going to let you view a. Yeah, uh, try that. You, you can view that. Try it. Yeah. No, that this button one. you were on. So it's I a think middle button. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That worked. And, yeah. <clears throat> and the resolution you can you can enlarge it because uh, you can zoom in and zoom out. It's uh, it's okay. So I integrate with the latest uh, matrix model like a bot activity, something like that, into the issue response because we involve a lot of uh, bot activities with the response and also some other new metrics. So I go through all the um, metrics we have today uh, and we plan to use this next month. So the way that I would read this, Yehui, is that for the first box, when thinking about new issues, um, clearly the the issues new metric is a is an associated metric, and then new contributors that would be an important metric in this model because I can take a look at at issues that are being created by new contributors. Is that right? Like yeah, that would yeah. be the, the logic there. Um, because the people who create this new issue and uh, the people who, who respond to the issue is not the same. So gotcha. I would like to create a two, two rows profile for this. So gotcha. if I need to do so, I have to add those metrics for those two gotcha. different actors. Yeah. Okay. And then if I just pick a different one, burstiness would be related to this because if we see a big burst of new issues, that might be telling us something. That's the logic there. Is that right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Because for this matrix, I just want to integrate uh, uh, as much scenarios as, as we can into this matrix model. But in the real case, maybe we don't have to focus uh, or uh, need to focus everything, every matrix at least here. Gotcha. Just the, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. Um, Sean or <laughs> or anybody else, what are your what are your thoughts? Well, I mean, looks like this was a lot of work, but you really yeah. thank you for doing that. Uh, yeah, it's very well conceived, and I find it, you know, it's insightful. Like I think I understand cool. the this project better. Cool. Yeah, I think it's excellent. So I I like it. I like it as a high level model. <coughs> I I would like to see us, uh, kind of zero in even further on this because just just looking at this I can see I can see some interesting things that we could say about you know the new contributors to a to a project and the response time that they may get or uh, things of that nature so I, I would as a high level model I like it but I think to be really useful we're going to need to zero in on uh, uh, focus in on a on a few kind of uh specific uses in here so uh adding to the kevin's like on focusing in like when i was reading okay new issue thinking that somebody has opened a new issue and somebody has responded to the new issue so i was thinking like how the bus factor is impacting a new issue so these kinds of questions is making mm -hmm. me think maybe we have a, some description to add to those list of metrics. Like I was having a hard time to connect this bus factor with the new issue. So how uh -huh. this bus factor is connected to a new issue that uh, somebody is open. Uh, okay. The bus factor means we need to, I mean, we need to get uh, those uh, people or users identities, uh, including uh, where are they come from? Maybe come from comes from the different organizations. So we could collect those information to identify. Okay, uh, today or this month, most uh, issues was created by one company or or, or organizations. So this is we use this uh, matrix to identify. Okay, this is somehow it's a kind of risk for um, um, in the way of class factor because. There's only one or two company or organizations contribute the issues. 
for this program. Okay, so this is helpful, but what I felt is like, now you have provided me the context, this is helping me to connect the dots. But just mm -hmm. looking at the bigger picture, I was having a hard time to connect the dots. So that's where I was trying to say, maybe as some context background will be helpful in this way to help our reader to think through those contexts that we can provide them. Just looking at the list, I, like it was good. Oh, uh, I felt like, okay, I can look at these ways, but I was having a hard time to understand those ways to connect those dots. So, um, so I feel like the way you have provided the context, now it helps make sense to connect that. Okay, now I, mm -hmm. I can see how it is helpful. But without that context, I was blank. For the for the image itself, uh, I think I think it's it's fine. If if you were if you were going to yeah. add descriptive content to it, you want to add it in the in the markdown file itself. Which yes, uh, which there I think there is some in there, isn't there? There is. Yeah, I don't so, know that it goes through all of the detail, but yeah. I'm, so let me make two comments. One. Um, so I, I actually think this does tell a story. So it tells me that if I'm interested in looking at <coughs> new issues or issue responses, these are the ways that I can think about them. And it's not that I have to think about them in all these ways, but I can think about it from a new contributor's perspective, or I can think about it from a burstiness perspective. So there is a story there for me that I can create to myself. Um, and so then my second comment is I'm, I'm really hesitant to in, like in this case, to add descriptions to everything, like why new issues, why new contributors, why contributor attribution, why issue label inclusivity. Um, and the reason is, is because if we do, some of the metrics show up in and different, they show up in issue new and they show up in issue response and they may show up in issue closed. I don't know. Um, but it, it would make the, the document huge. And we're trying to, I think we're just trying to draw people to a location where they can think about the metrics in really just kind of concise ways that, that maybe they haven't otherwise been able to. So I'm a little con my concern with describing everything would be that we're overloading the metric model with text, which is one of the concerns that we have with the metrics themselves, that they're kind of done yeah. already. So I, I do uh, I do agree. I think simple is better. Uh, so too much too much text content is going to take away from it. And I think the uh, so simplicity in the description and also simplicity in in the models I, I think are better. And then to the to the point that you made earlier, when I when I look at this model, yes, it tells it tells uh, me a story as well. As a matter of fact, it tells to the point that I was trying to make is that it actually tells me four or five different stories. Uh, and maybe that's the maybe that's a little bit the strength of the model in that it can be interpreted a little bit differently. Uh, but the the point that I was making is it it might be it might be nice to to focus in on those three or four or five stories that I'm seeing and create a model specifically for those as well. So this could be a high level view of issue handling. And then we could kind of zoom in and look at it from more specific, uh, in more specific ways. And, and it could even be part of the same uh, model document if we wanted to. Yeah, so that's, um... We'll run into the same thing, actually. It's interesting because we'll run into the same issue on the metric model that I put together for the DEI event badging. Because like for event badging, there are all the metrics and you don't have to attend to all of them. Each one of them can have like an impact on the metric model that is DEI event badging. But to your point, Kevin, there could be a, like a richer story to tell about family friendliness or diversity access tickets. You know what I mean? Like really yeah. kind of zeroing in. And it, it does it does become a problem of scope for us when we're defi uh, when we're creating these metrics models. I'm, so how do we know how do we know the scope that we're looking at? Are we looking at it at a high level like this, or are we looking at it at a 
at a lower level or are we looking at it in in both ways yes yeah. i mean the the i don't know that i'd call this high level that implies like that it's kind of hand wavy and i don't think that's quite what this is yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't call it hand wavy uh, i think that there are many uh there are an infinite number of um, use cases for the models there is no there is no one scope or complexity level uh and um <coughs> as 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 we learn how to write these, we'll do a variety of kind of complexity levels, you know, simpler ones, more complicated ones. Um, so, for example, the uh, why you should care section um, for some other hypothetical model might say. Um, <clears throat> Uh, this metric identifies um, the influence of the bus factor on um, on the waiting time for issues to be accepted, and then the only real metric would be uh, the bus factor. And I don't have it open on the screen right now, but whatever there is that talks about the. Um, the throughput processing time. Um, so in that case, there would only be two metrics, or maybe three at the most, that were actually in there. So I think that um, to, to summarize, I see this particular model as being um, kind of a proof of concept uh, and will um, develop you know, more ideas with different specific yeah, I agree with that. And I think I think that's also Kevin. Does that ring with what you're talking about, Kevin? Too. Uh, um, I'm not. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I do. I do see this as a proof of concept. Uh, uh, but I. I guess I'm just. I don't. Uh, I'm wondering about how many, so this is this model is built around issues, right? So how many models do, how many models do we create about issues and how do we differentiate what those models are? Uh, are we okay with redundancy and repetition? Uh, if we are okay with redundancy and repetition, there is gonna be some complexity in uh, the way we're presenting this to people. Right, so what's the redundancy and repetition? We may use similar combinations of metrics oh, in sure. different models, which of I course. think is perfectly yeah. fine. Yes. <laughs> but but also we all we also may be telling similar stories. Possible. So maybe then okay, I'll try to put a bow on this then. <laughs> um, so this all started with Yohoi talking about a development model, which was <laughs> really big. And from Yohoi's perspective, hold on. From Yohoi's perspective, um, that model was too big. <laughs> he needed to scope it down to just the issue component. Um, and I think we're just kind of, Kevin, I think you're wondering how, and you can totally correct me if I'm wrong, but like how far <laughs> down do we scope it? You know what I mean? And Lucas then is saying we may have metrics models that kind of live at different scopes and that's okay, right? Um, and, and we'll find the groove over time. I'm trying to summarize you, Kevin and Lucas all in yeah. one. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with that. I think we can have models that exist at different scopes. Uh, but I think we have to be kind of clear about what those what those scopes are when we're defining this. So I think the the first thing that, that I had said was I thought this model was a great high level model because for me when I look at it I see five stories and it's a and it's a great model for that because when I looked at it I immediately looked at it and saw five stories. So it's a it's a great high level model for me to understand kind of the the whole issue handling process. Uh, but 
I think there there are there are models that exist at a lower scope here, uh, and I'm wondering how we would connect those or differentiate between the different types of models that we may create just around issues, for example. Maybe I'm okay with that, like that they don't need to be. Like I think about our metrics. Some of our metrics are like just, they're just like a single thing. <laughs> And other like of the our, our small unit metrics and other metrics are considerably more complex, and that hasn't seemed to get in the way of how we talk about metrics. I mean, do you, do you see this as a potential problem? Yeah, I think in in the in the future, I do kind of see this as a potential problem. <clears throat> I don't. Okay. But I think we if we. Uh... <clears throat> At the beginning, set clear boundary with each uh, models with each other. I mean, it would uh, make this work com complex, uh, complicated because uh, think think of uh, developing some software application based on some libraries. We don't care so much about if my application uh, kind of overlap to get another one. Just to use the API to, to create some new thing, new features. Like this one, I can create for some specific scenario or use case, or I can cover more a general scope. It's fun, I think, at the beginning. So why don't we just uh, uh, do not too restrict <laughs> on the scope definition on the different metrics model and put people more thinking of uh, uh, how how many new things or new metrics model comes up based on those metrics libraries? I would call it metrics model uh, metrics yeah. uh, libraries at this time. Yeah, yeah, no, I like that. Um, okay, this is a good conversation. Thank you, everybody. Um, so the to to me. Um, To me, this is certainly hitting, I think, what we're asking for. That's what we kind yeah. of said for. <laughs> I agree. It's raising questions, and I think those questions can be drawn out over time. Um, but I, personally, I think this should, we should talk about this, like merge it and talk about this in, in perhaps the community call. I agree. We start bringing it forward. <laughs> um, OK. Thank you. you wait, so I have a one myself. Okay. Um, there's a link here. And so this is um, DEI event badging, which I, I think we agreed on is kind of an already existing metric model that's in practice. I think, Sean, you had kind of mentioned that a lot yep. of the work you do, you have existing metrics model, and perhaps we can just capture some of those. Exactly. Um, my my only my, a couple of my questions that kind of came from this because this is a fairly easy model, I think, to to define <clears throat> is whether or not we should make the visual of the metrics model optional because there's not really a visual for the <laughs> DEI event badging. I don't know what y'all think of that but it would be something I probably wouldn't include in this one. Are people okay with that? I think it would depend well, on the specific model. Yeah, exactly. That's why I put it as optional. Um, this only has four metrics in the current model. And then I, I propose, Yui, I don't know what to think of this on the template, that we add a, a section called resources <clears throat> or something like that. Just because this already exists, and I wanted to point to it as an existing program already. So we don't have this resources page. What do people think of that? Seems useful. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I just yeah, need yeah, confirmation, yeah. folks. Well, yeah. plus, so. plus one. I like that as I mean, well. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, except for this link, uh, we could put it in the resources. Uh, what are other things we can put it? 
I, I could um, imagine that um, it has some connection with the references. Is that the, are they the same? In yeah, actually, what do, we, do we what do we call them in the metrics? Are they references or resources? Does anybody know right off the top of their head? Uh, so we do have we do have references in there, but I don't think we need references because we are referencing the metrics. Uh, so we don't need to we don't need to reference any external literature or websites. We just need to reference our metrics. So I think I think resources or I think uh, what's the heading? Is it tooling or uh, implementation? Implementation. That's what it's called. Yeah. So maybe the maybe that section is implementation. Yeah. Now there could there there could be a case for um, references. And my only thought here is um, like I'm reading an open source.com article and somebody's like, we should look at this metric, this metric, this metric, and this metric when we're thinking about this concept. Like I can see somebody writing something like that up. You know what I mean? And then we just capture that. Yeah, maybe we can also publish some new articles around our metrics model and put it here. And we can circularly <laughs> reference ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> what do people think of references? Maybe Kevin? then we can publish as a uh, write small article on this model we develop and put it for the for the description uh, as a like a marketing tool or a like write a small maybe some uh, we can write a small article on this particular model and publish it somewhere for the public i like this idea okay do we have to write write every single article for for every for each of the metrics model or we can pick up something <laughs> of the metrics model. okay Cool. Uh, good. Anybody have any other comments? These are so simple <laughs> in a good way. I really like it. All right, great. Um, some updates. And then I will update the template. Okay, and then I have to go. I think we went i think we've been through everything and i still don't have access to the doc so kevin do you want to share your screen or uh <laughs> yeah yeah what I else should we screen. what else what else should we do we've made it through everything i was quick yeah so <laughs> i mean we can return five minutes to people but we yeah, can also open the floor to me yeah shall we return five minutes to you all um i had two things i just wanted to throw out there um let's do it one is um, I, um i'm not able to edit this sharepoint document because of some weirdness in microsoft's accounts with to my account yeah um, i'm having the same problem I, I wonder if this could live in, in github would, would that be i i know that could be really inconvenient how would people feel we've certainly done that in the past but uh, um why we have switched to the uh, Google? Uh, why not be uh, using the Google <clears throat> Docs rather than Word Doc? It so happen. it's for inclusive access, and so everyone can not everyone can access Google Docs. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm sorry to speak over you, Lucas. Yeah, I'm sorry to speak over you. It was my bad. I I'm going to try something here really fast. Can you access that now, Lucas or Sean, in the chat? 
Yes, that was that was openable. All right, I did I, I did something. All right, I I still can't, but that might very well be. <laughs> How is this possible? Like, <laughs> it's it's got to be some cash or something related to my own Microsoft account through my university. <clears throat> I mean, I'm I'm sure it has something to do with the cookies from my university. All right, Microsoft is recognizing me, and all right, but Lucas, you're in. Yes, yeah. and thank you for that. Right thank on, you. Lucas. You said you had one other thing. Um, I did. I just thought I'd throw this out there that, um. Talking about ideas for metric models might be a good future agenda item, like brainstorming together. Um, <clears throat> here's one thing we could do, and here are the things that are related to it. I'm in. Yeah. Um, because the there's kind of a craftsmanship to those ideas. We can learn together. <clears throat> That'll be the top of the agenda, Lucas. From a uh, from a process standpoint, uh, just looking and digging into the model that we were looking at earlier uh, gave me multiple ideas for uh, uh, models around issues. Uh, so yeah. I thought, yeah, good call, Lucas. We'll start with that. All right, I got to roll. All right, bye. <clears throat> Everybody else want their time back? Well, it's only two. We got two minutes now. now. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You're I all think awesome. we should all sit here quietly for two minutes. Bye. <laughs> I have the power to make that not happen.